Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to move Bitcoin from your Coinbase account to your very own digital wallet. In this case, it's going to be the Electrum Bitcoin wallet. So let's get started. So a lot of people are involved in the cryptocurrency craze now. Uh, some people know you hear about Bitcoin in the news quite a bit. So I'm going to show you how to move Bitcoin from one place to another. So uh, you might want to look at some of my previous videos on how to set up a Coinbase account. This is how we, uh, the easiest way I found lately is to buy your Bitcoin. And then uh, I have another video where I show you how to install the Ethereum Bitcoin wallet on your computer. So uh, you want to check out those, those two videos. I'm assuming you have this all set up. I'm just going to do a quick short video on how you move Bitcoin back and forth. Okay. So let's go to the big screen here. Uh, I'm here at my Coinbase account on the web. I'll put a link for that in the uh, description down below. We're going to click sign in. I've already got my credentials in there. You'll want to put in your credentials for your Coinbase account. And we're going to say sign in and two step verification. All right, I'm going to show you how to do that from my phone. Alrighty. So here is my phone. All right, we're going to use the Google Authenticator app. As you can see, it's right here. So we tap that, we open it up, and there's my Coinbase. And as you can see over here, see these little, uh, they look like little clocks. And they're counting down the time you have left to enter the code. And then a new code gets generated. That's part of the security of the Google Authenticator app. So we're going to enter our code here for Coinbase. It's 168. 261 we'll click verify and sign in uh, and if you don't know how to set up two-step authentication I have a video on showing how to do that so now that we're at the account uh, uh, the coinbase account and logged in nicely we're going to hit accounts is that you oh, okay <laughs> sorry strange noises going on in the background here all right, so now that I've uh, accessed my Bitcoin account, you see I've got some uh, Bitcoin in a wallet here, and we're going to send it over to our Electrum Bitcoin wallet. Okay, now let's launch the Electrum Bitcoin wallet on our computer. I'll get this out of the way and this out of the way. Okay, so we just need to uh, log our, our, enter our password here. Oops, it's not taking it, is it? Sorry about that. There we go. Okay, we'll just click next. Okay, and it takes us to our wallet. As you can see, there's a transaction in there already waiting to be confirmed. I think it may be confirmed. Well, I'm not going to uh, fret about that. I did try this previously, and uh, it was an epic fail. So we're going to do it again. Not that I failed to send the Bitcoin. I just, the video didn't uh, turn out correct. So let's go. Now that we've got our Electrum Bitcoin wallet open, we want to receive some Bitcoins. We can go to the tab over here. This is the receiving address of the uh, Bitcoin Electrum wallet on my computer. I'm going to click uh, this little copy to clipboard icon. So I've got that address in my clipboard. Now we're going to go back over here to our Coinbase account. And in this case, we're going to send the Bitcoin uh, to that address. Now we're just going to do a click paste. And that's the address of the Bitcoin. How much am I going to send? Let's see, I've got 0 0.009 in there. I'm just going to do a uh, 0 0.004, I think. Point zero zero. I'll just do three. I'm not going to do a lot. It's just a test. Okay. Now I'm going to pay a little hefty network fee for that, but uh, I'm doing it for you guys. Okay. Now I need to confirm again with my Google Authenticator app. Google 
authenticator app is telling me my Coinbase code is 443846. Confirm. And we got an ambulance going by in the background, but uh, we'll deal with that. Okay, so now uh, we just got an email letting us know from Coinbase telling us that we just sent some Bitcoin somewhere. View details. This is what the transaction looks like. Now let's go over to our uh, coin wallet here and go back over to history and see looky there. See we've got an unconfirmed transaction that just came in with some Bitcoin that I sent from my Google Authenticator. Or I'm sorry, from my Coinbase account. So uh, Coinbase is the easiest way to buy Bitcoin. Boy, there must be a big emergency going on outside my house. Uh, so it's easy to get an account set up. You link uh, one of your debit cards or your bank account so that you can purchase cryptocurrency. Uh, you can buy Bitcoin, Ether, or Litecoin. And so, uh, and that's pretty easy. A lot of people have, are doing that now, and but they may not quite understand this whole Bitcoin wallet thing. So I have this wallet installed on my computer, and I control the private keys. Now, Coinbase is a great way to buy Bitcoin, but I'm not uh, totally comfortable storing a lot of Bitcoin on Coinbase because uh, I may not be able to get access to their website. Uh, they might get shut down. Uh, there's a lot of things that can happen. And that Bitcoin that I own, that I purchased on Coinbase, uh, they have the private keys because the only way to access it is through their website. That's why I'm moving my Bitcoin away from them into my own private wallet. And that's uh, what I just did. And uh, that's the reason for that. So guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was short and sweet. How to move Bitcoin from one place to another. I'll do another video on how to do it with the Coinbase app. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to be notified when I post new videos, please subscribe. Uh, thanks for joining me again, and I hope to see you again soon.